Hi everybody, Dan with Trendspider here, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about automated trend line detection. Now, this is one of the features that we first started with. It was one of the first things a trend spider could do for a trader automatically. It's so original to our DNA that it is in our name. We're called trend spider. Trend lines aren't the only thing we do, but it's something we do in a very unique and interesting way. It's designed to be flexible and it's designed to match your trading style as closely as possible so you can do less work, so you can spend less time staring at charts and spend more time doing what you love which is, of course, actually trading. Here's how it works. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the trends button on the top. And this will turn on automated trend line recognition. And you can see that on CLVS here, at this particular point in time, TrendSpider found this one particular trend line. Now, I wanna highlight something here. First thing to highlight is this vertical blue line that you see on my screen here. It has this blue tab at the top, and this is called your truth in analysis timestamp. This is the moment in time when I last pulled up this chart in TrendSpider and told TrendSpider to analyze it and try to find trend lines. Everything that the system puts on your chart was detected using data to the left of this line, and everything on the right is how things played out since then. So you can see that TrendSpider identified this downsloping trend line on September 13th. And then around November 4th, price finally broke out of it and has been consolidating a little bit higher ever since. That's how the system is intended to work. Now, a lot of people ask me why it picked this line, how it picked this line, and how it all works in general. So that's what I'm gonna take a little bit of time to explain. The first thing I wanna cover is how we find trend lines in the first place. We do that by attempting to find every reasonable possible trend line within some user configurable variances or variables that you can control as a starting point. So that's what this is what this looks like. And as I flip through various charts in this watch list here, you can see what that looks like on those charts. It is very busy and chaotic, and this can represent up to 1,600 separate trend lines on each individual chart that the system analyzes. Now, this is too much for any person. I do want to highlight one thing, though, while we're looking at it like this. You can double-click on these lines. If you look at this view and you see something that you like, you can double-click on it to lock it in place, and it'll stay there for you once you do that. The next thing we do is we whittle it down. So we go through all those trend lines and we remove the ones that have been violated by price too much, meaning they are no longer a, a line that is providing a peripheral border or a range and, you know, something else. So we remove those lines because they are noisy and we're left with a much cleaner set of trend lines at that point. Finally, the last thing we do is we filter these down by a set of user controlled formulas to the top 1% and that's how we come to some of the analyses that you see here today. Now, um, it's pretty crazy, right? You go from hundreds and hundreds, thousands of lines down to some lines, down to the most relevant lines using an algorithm. And this happens in milliseconds as you load your chart. It's really cool and it saves you a lot of time. Personally, I like to use this as a second set of eyes. So I normally will do my own trend line analysis on a chart as I've done on, I believe this chart, or maybe not. Um, but I like to do my own trend analysis, and then I like to use the auto trends feature to get a second set of eyes on the chart in case I miss something, something interesting that I wasn't paying attention to somewhere else in the chart, and so forth. It also will challenge my thoughts sometimes. Sometimes it will find a line that has been clearly broken when I thought it was not. So um, it's a very powerful tool, and I definitely recommend you play with it and find what way it works best for you. The other thing to talk about now that we know how the system detects trend lines is how you can customize it. The first way is by choosing from different preset configurations that TrendSpider comes with out of the box. There are three of them. There's standard, original, and enhanced. Original and enhanced are our two very first configurations. That's what TrendSpider came with a year and a half ago when the trends feature was first launched. And it's really cool. I like to use original in particular because it will help find long-term trends that go back way into the past. That's because original is designed to look for this type of trend. It's intended to find those long-term trends that, are, that go back far into the past and are still relevant today. And you can see that's exactly what it's done here. It's found a breakdown 
or a breakout from a long-term downtrend and it's found a long-term support line as well. An original will also find far fewer lines when you go down to the unfiltered view because it is very picky and discriminant about which lines it picks. It's a very useful thing if you're a longer term trader and you're looking for longer term trend lines. Enhanced is based on the original settings, but it goes for much shorter term data and it also does some interesting things looking for uh, uh, short term trend lines that aren't so long. And sometimes this configuration can be fairly hit or miss. On some charts, it'll find some very interesting lines, and on other charts, it's going to find some stuff that you're not going to agree with. What's really interesting and useful about this auto trend line detection, by the way, is you can tune it. So on this one, for example, TrendSpider has found a number of interesting lines on CLVS here weekly, but it's also found a few ones that I don't want. All I need to do is hold shift and click on those lines and any line I want to remove just disappears. And you can see once I've done that, I've got a slightly different perspective on CLVS now. The TrendSpider has found that it has broken and failed to recover this previous price level. Again, I didn't have to spend any time looking at this chart. TrendSpider did this for me. So there's a, there's a variety of different configurations. Uh, personally, I really prefer standard. I think that standard does the best job out of all of them in finding relevant trend lines for me based on my trading style. But you can find any configuration here that you like and try it out and see what you think of it. The next option we have here is the drawing input. This is telling TrendSpider to look at highs and lows or opens and closes. When I switch it to open and closes, you can see it finds some slightly different patterns on this chart, including this red trend line that it was previously ignoring. And again, this shows a pretty bullish case. Other configurations show a slightly less bullish case. Finally, you can tell the system whether it should ignore or respect gaps in the price action. Gaps are important, right? They are uh, these big chunks of price action where price has jumped through the price. And on some symbols, especially some of the weird ones that I look at, there can be a lot of gaps. Even some things like SPY tend to have a large number of gaps on them. So we're not finding any, but it will change your analysis completely. So um, just, to, just to overcap, the settings tell the system how to detect trend lines. Um, the timestamp tells the system when to detect trend lines. In this case, it was analyzed as of October 17th. If you pull up a chart that you haven't looked at it in a while and the trend lines are no longer relevant, there's a refresh and lock button here and a refresh button at the top. You can click those and the system will reanalyze that chart and find new possible trends for you. You can tune the analysis by double clicking on trend lines. So if you see something interesting that you like, you can uh, pull the chart up and just double click on it. When you double click on it, it will lock that trend in place. So when you flip back to most relevant and turn on your drawings, that line will be on your chart. And you can very quickly, with very little effort, have a finely tuned chart in seconds. Once you do that, you can do all the other fun stuff that TrendSpider lets you do, like create alerts, backtest, and so forth. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, this is a little bit of a deeper dive into trend lines that we've done for, in a while, and hopefully this helps you use the platform and get more value out of it. Thank you very much for watching again, and have a great day. Bye-bye.